This is what can happen when measles takes hold. James hasn't eaten for days and he's now developed pneumonia. Some of these babies are less than six months old, too young to have the measles vaccine. They rely on others around them being immunised so they don't even come into contact with the disease. In the next ward, two-year-old princess lies limp and exhausted. First she had a cough, her grandmother tells me. Then suddenly a severe fever and rash all over her body. It was so frightening. Princess was not immunised. Her family were worried vaccines might harm her. We were admitting 30 to 40 and even as high as 80 patients admitted every night. We were so frustrated, disappointed because the vaccine for measles is given free at the different health centers. But people would not have their, themselves immunized, would, would not bring their children because of misconceptions. Much of these misconceptions center on the controversial rollout of a new dengue vaccine in 2016. 800,000 school children were vaccinated using Dengvaxia, but the manufacturer later disclosed that its product posed a risk to some children. Some families blamed the vaccine for their children's deaths. Investigations are underway, but no link has been proven. Health officials say inaccurate and sensationalist information about vaccines in general spread online, resulting in the confidence in all vaccines plummeting. Social media is a major part of life in the Philippines. Misinformation online is a global problem, but here it's had a devastating impact on children's health. Misinformation and fear overtook evidence and science for many parents deciding whether to vaccinate their children. Health facilities and medics can also be difficult to access in these poor slum areas. There are trust issues too. So when accurate information wasn't available or wasn't believed, many parents instead listened to rumour and scaremongering online. The infection of misinformation, as the UN Children's Agency UNICEF has called it, can spread as far and fast as a computer virus. Arlin bitterly regrets her decision not to vaccinate her two children. Two-year-old Jenilyn and her eight-month-old little brother Jean-Paul died of measles within a week of each other. My eldest child was mischievous, always running and playing. My children were always playing with each other. Arlin tells me she works as much as she can these days to try and distract herself from the pain of losing her children. I feel angry because I shouldn't have listened to the television and Facebook. I should have protected my children. In a statement, Facebook told us, we are concerned about the spread of vaccine misinformation, which is why we are taking action to limit its distribution and counter it with educational information. Where we identify it, we reduce its ranking, remove it from recommendations, and if it is an ad, we reject it. Para sa inyo ang laban na to. The Department of Health in the Philippines has got a number of stars on board with its campaign to reassure families about the safety and effectiveness of vaccines. In this online video, world champion boxer Manny Pacquiao joins the country's health secretary, Dr. Francisco Duque III, with a simple message, vaccines work. Dr. Duque told me a government campaign to vaccinate 8 million more school children against measles by September is now underway. You're a doctor yourself. Clearly, you know about these vaccines that could have prevented all of this, these tens sure. of thousands of cases and 450 plus deaths. Yes. How does it feel for you on a, on a personal level that so many people have died needlessly? Bad. Very, very bad. I mean, you know, it's lamentable. I really feel you know, almost sick to the core that this had to happen. It's uh, misinformation, it's uh, uh, for uh, the large part lies being uh, peddled around and people are suckering up to these lies and uh, they're quite uh, pervasive uh, on uh, social media and so it's very unfortunate. I think what we have done is really yielding uh, dividends in terms of we are able to win back uh, public confidence uh, by way of our infomercials, both uh, print, uh, airwaves, uh, you know, constantly bombarding 
uh, the public with the, the correct information with regard to our immunization uh, program. These volunteers are on a mission to restore faith in vaccines among concerned parents who just want the best for their children. They're going door to door here in Beseco slum. Their message, vaccines are safe, effective and save lives. They're trained up by UNICEF and are out here every week. Slowly the trust in the immunization program is uh, getting back. So, so now mothers are really trooping the health centers, like demanding for the vaccines because they're afraid for their children. The local vaccination clinic is packed with mums getting their children immunized. The measles outbreak has slowed dramatically from its peak earlier this year. Families in the Philippines have paid a high price for the dip in vaccination rates here. But confidence in these life-saving vaccines is returning.